Yeah, my work area is a little bit of a mess. I'll get into another video about my where I work out of and stuff. Um, just gonna do a little video about the Mr. Volcano. Um, I know you put the fiberglass in and you're supposed to use a rigidizer. Then you can let it set for 24 to 48 hours. Or you can do the heat cycles. I did the heat cycles. It took like nine of them. I did it over oh, a couple hours. And then on the uh, satin night, um, you're supposed to put one layer on and let it set for 24 to 48 hours. And then do the second layer and let it set for 24 to 48 hours. Um, I always get in a hurry. My OCD or ADHD, I like to just get moving with things. I don't like to wait. I want to try it out. Um, so what I did was I put this little kerosene heater I have, turned it on low and put it under this piece of quarter inch steel bolted to the stand. So it's getting half the heat and this is about 140 degrees. I can't hold my finger on it very long. Um, I did that for four hours and come out and it was 99% dry. There was a couple thick spots that was just a little tacky, but, um, I just, uh, went ahead and went over it with a second coat. I just now put it on. I'm going to leave the heater run all night. It'll run 12 hours on two gallons, what they say. So I'll let it run tonight. Hopefully by morning it'll be dry and I'll be able to try it. Mine didn't turn out real good. Um, once I put the rigidizer on, I didn't realize, but there was a couple spots that it settled down. I tried to push them up, but that rigidizer, it's made to make the insulation hard and firm. So when I tried to do it, it was trying to push and break up through there and leave a little divot where I push my fingers. So I just did it the best I can. Um, eventually, I'll probably buy a bigger one, but I've heard really good reviews. Got this on Amazon for 88 bucks, and it's made in USA. It's hard to find stuff made in America nowadays that it's you know good um i was looking at a few other ones but they weren't made in usa and if i remember right this one's made in don't quote me but i think minnesota is where this one's made and um i think i'm gonna like it a lot i just hope to use it for knife making and stuff i was gonna get the double burner but it's gonna take a lot more propane and i just figured for what i do four and five inch knives it'll be perfect so that is a wrap up of this and i will get back to it tomorrow and let you know how it turned out and if i made a mistake by going ahead and curing it quicker with my heater and if i should have waited 24 hours or if it paid off usually my uh stuff that i do doesn't pay off it always costs me in the long run so maybe i'll get lucky on this and it'll pay off